I just, I just don't see it. I mean, I could totally be wrong. I don't think, I think RH wants to get pulse chain out soon. I think I see the urgency with testnet. He wanted to get something live. I don't think that was just a piece of community because if that was the case, why didn't you get it out six months ago? If you want to really not be, have people mad at him. So I think that he is, uh, people, you know, I've never agreed with him timing the market and a lot of it, you could say, okay, huge delay with BSC fork and the, and the 2.0 that took a lot more time. Maybe it's expected. Maybe it wasn't. I don't think he's been sitting there for two years saying, you know, I don't think in 2021, he's like, all right, we're going to launch in mid May, 2023. I don't think that's what he's, he, he did before. However, Maybe you see something now. Maybe you see an opportunity, local timing. Maybe that'd be a cherry on top for, for the launch as well for us. So I don't think he's going to do UniB3. I don't think he wants to delay things and more PulseX testing. I think he's going to try to get to mainnet as soon as possible. Uh, and that could be two months, three months, could be six months. We don't know. However, I think going to UniB3 would delay things further. And he said before, and I've clipped it many times, and some of them be coming out uh, later this year. Some of them I think are already out before on the channel for the vintage clips of him talking about the Univ2 pump minerals. He likes, uh, you know, putting up stuff on both sides. He thinks that could be good for different pairs. Maybe there's, uh, you know, I don't think he showed us all the tricks up his sleeve yet. So I, I don't think he'll, he'll wait around for that and do that with pulse X, my personal opinion. But uh, what, do, what do you guys think? Yeah, uh, I don't, you know, I like the time frame. I like the time frame of April, like I do. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with uh, the Uniswap, uh, the licensing uh, coming up to do. And what's interesting is, you know, back in May, right, the mid-May call, like that was right around the time that there were some huge improvements to the beacon chain and, and like the ETH 2.0 coming through. So I would not be surprised if it was ready to go and the devs are like, wait, guys, we should probably wait for this to launch first so we can we can utilize all this great code that is coming out on, on Ethereum 2.0 and kind of leverage that. Um, it would not surprise, surprise me if, if that, if that's why mid may never actually happened, but uh, to, to, to go back to the Uniswap version, um, I mean, that could be updated at any time. So he, he could launch tomorrow. And then when the licensing is up, uh, he could update and throw in a V3. So I don't think it's too dependent on the actual launch. That's my opinion though. Oh, I've said before too, it could be an upgrade. Like I said, I think he'll, I don't, I think we'll launch V2 and then later on, if he decides uh, that that's the route to go, or maybe there's another DEX, maybe there's two DEXs. And then, you know, with different pump metals and stuff, maybe he'll be like, oh, by the way, Pulse Chain's getting a, getting an upgrade, UniV3 type of thing. He'll, I, I know the salesman in him will know exactly how to do it and, and sell it and, and make it uh, positive. But uh, yeah, what, what do you think, Graphics? I just don't see. I mean, I'm with Giff. It's like, it's an upgrade. You know, you can do it whether it's launched or at any point, really. So I think it's more along the lines of, is it ready? Is it done? Is it perfect? Is it going to be in, like exponential growth ready? And I, th I, I mean, look, I think that we could see it. Well, even, even, even wanting to say like, we could see it soon. It's like, I don't know what's going on under the hood. I I have to say I believe every single time because I don't understand the technology to agree where I can understand even how long it takes for most of these fixes to go on. So these guys that you're that that have like RH and GIF, they have more experience in the dev side and the actual coding side than I do. So I'm just a speculator. I hope for the best, but I mean I'd be thrilled if it came out by mid-May of this year because that seems close enough for me where it's ample time to get everything possible, test it, redo things, you know, in two months, if, if we're really that close already, and you know, we only have four five, six smallish fixes to do, but I don't see us being, it seems really soon to me. It seems very soon to be like a two week away kind of event. Two yeah, weeks from mainnet. You know I mean, from now to mainnet. So that way, so basically wow. like mainnet should come in the first week because it, first week of April is literally two weeks away. Or short of two weeks away, so. Well, okay. I would say I like kind of to echo like what I was saying earlier about the time frames. I think this is just an assembly period. Like they're just assembling all the code together. Like, and then you saw the tweet about uh, you know, RH was asking you know how to 
you know, effectively deal with uh, V3 liquidity if they were to um, deploy it. And Alex jumped in there with some good ideas, right? So I didn't see uh, that, but I will definitely look for it, though. Yeah, yeah, you should look at that little thread and read Alex's response. He's got a very thoughtful response on what on how you can handle the V3 liquidity and how you would basically just look at the second to last tick um, on Uniswap uh, instead of just grabbing the last one. Anyways, uh, I'll put your uh, read, read through it on your own. Um, uh, great response. And, uh, you know, I, dude, it's just an exciting period, man. Like, like we could very well see a mainnet not long after two weeks. Like, like we could. We could. Until I see more evidence that we couldn't, that they're not just in an assembly phase like I think they are right now. Um, you know, it's just, it, we'll see. I'm excited. I've been, I've been scared by the bugs. Um, and not, uh, I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm not fully buying into the two weeks yet. I hope I'm wrong, of course. Um, but I just think that, uh, I don't know. I, I could, I could see they're in assembly phase, but I think that you saw how long it took. Oh, Aragon things not sinking and all this stuff. I just feel like there's going to be some of those hiccups and they're going to have to fix some stuff or they're and, and pulse chain or pulse X not being, you know, fully complete and functional or having issues here and there. I just think they need time. I don't think it's any problems. I just think they need, uh, I don't know. In my mind, I'm pushing out two months. I'm, I'm doing mid May in my mind. I just, but I like that too. boy, boy, if it comes in two weeks, I, I hope you two are, are, I hope you hope we replay this and we're like, ah, GIF and the graphics, they were, they crystal balled it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, 